At midnight, Warrington becomes the fourth area of the northwest to go into the strictest of the government's coronavirus restrictions. It joins Lancashire, Greater Manchester and the Liverpool City region, which are already in Tier 3. It means tighter rules on who you can mix with and many hospitality businesses will have to close. Our reporter Andy Gill has spent the day in Warrington and he joins us from the reporting from Warrington. Well, across the northwest under the new three-tier system, most of Cumbria still has Tier 1 restrictions. There, you must follow the rule of six, indoors and outdoors. And there is a 10pm curfew on hospitality. The exception in Cumbria is Barrow, that's the orange bit, which is Tier 2. And they're in Tier 2, along with parts of High Peak in Derbyshire and parts of Cheshire. In these areas, the additional restrictions is no mixing indoors. Greater Manchester, the Liverpool City region and Lancashire are all in Tier 3. And as you've just heard from Andy Gill, Warrington joins them at midnight. Tier 3 has the highest restrictions and means different households are banned from mixing indoors or outdoors and pubs and bars not serving substantial meals must close. So, as we heard, Lancashire has been in Tier 3 for some time now and Blackpool fears it is costing their economy more than £130 million. Businesses in the resort say they've had unprecedented cancellations since moving into the top level of restrictions earlier this month. Half-term began for many this week, traditionally a busy time for Blackpool. Peter Marshall reports. In it well, a further 29 people who tested positive for coronavirus have died in the Northwest hospitals in the latest 24 hour period. There were 91 deaths reported nationally, and there were 278 people admitted to hospitals in our region for treatment for COVID 19. Well, let's move away from coronavirus uh, for a while now, and a security steward working at the Manchester Arena on the night of the attack in 2017 has denied fobbing off a man who had concerns about Salman Abedi. Now, when Samuel Pollan from Cheshire was just 12, he became conscious of how he looked. He began to eat less and exercise more until it became a problem and he was treated for anorexia. Well, now aged 30, he's written a book called The Year I Didn't Eat to Help Others. It's a fictional story of 14-year-old Max who is struggling with anorexia and it has just won the Lancashire Book of the Year award. Well, when I spoke to him earlier, I asked him how he felt about the award. Now, parakeets aren't a breed of bird that you'd probably associate with Greater Manchester, at least not in the wild. But for people living in the borough, the bright green birds have brought some much-needed colour as their numbers have increased over the last few months. Kath Patterson explains why. Short. That's a great shot, isn't it? Uh, right, let's have a look at the weather now. Owen is here so looking cute. splendid in green. How Thank fitting. you. Yes, I feel like a little green bird myself tonight, <laughs> <laughs> actually. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that, Annabelle. That does look very wet, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yes, you are all over you. social media, aren't you? Well, one tries. One I'm tries. sure. Have you seen those those little boys, those brothers oh, in Pakistan who've brill. been playing the traditional drums? Yes. Oh, they're absolutely brilliant. I don't know yes. if they've taken inspiration from you, though. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'd say they're much better than me, actually. No, no, well, <laughs> have a listen, see what you think. <laughs> 